Hey everybody, it's Mara from Matter Hackers, and we are in the Matter Hackers studio with amazing guests and good friends, and we're so excited to have Joel Telling, 3D printing nerd on YouTube, Devin Montez, make anything on YouTube. How's it going, guys? Awesome. Going good. Going good? What's there's happening? A, there's a meetup coming up, so. Like, there is a meetup. I'm really yeah. excited. We're gonna yeah. have craft beer. <laughs> Yeah, yep. I, got, I got an email just saying that Matter Hackers was going to have tacos again, and so I decided yep. to jump on an airplane and fly down. <laughs> That's what we do. We dangle tacos, and, and then people tacos. people just Smell come. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. But we also have 3D printers, and we also <laughs> have too. our special project for this particular meetup is a 3D printed Plinko board. Mm -hmm. um, you may know Plinko from the TV show. And uh, so there's been a mad rush to make personalized <laughs> Plinko pucks. So let's talk about your Plinko pucks, gentlemen. I think we should let Devin go first. Okay. Because he was first. Yeah, so uh, one of the Matter Hackers team shouted out and told me that they were making a giant Plinko board. And I thought it would be awesome to make some custom pucks and have everyone make their own because everyone, we're all makers, you know? So it's an awesome opportunity for everyone to make their own little project. And Joel made one. Other I, people I did are bringing make one. them. Yeah. Exciting. Talk about yours though. Yours is very special okay. in how it's made. Sure. So I wanted to do something because I always like to experiment and learn from my projects. So I created a kind of weighted bearing system so that my logo is always upright. So oh my gosh. It'll always look good. This is genius. And it's also got some kind of built-in springs and some whoop, flexible filament. So hopefully it bounces around extra crazy. Mm-hmm, because this is going to be a competition, because everything we do is yeah. a competition. Well, mostly, really. well, you know what? <laughs> I think we need to run ours down the board at the same time. Mm -hmm. That'd be fun. Race. All right, one, two, drop. <laughs> <laughs> oh. Come back. Hey. 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 But I got a better press. <laughs> <laughs> well, mine was... Uh, Mine was printed using the Pulse XE with Nylon X. I just got that in. I wanted to try the Nylon X. And then the inner ring was printed with the Protopasta High 5 Blue, my mm -hmm. filament. And I wanted to do something kind of different because uh, Devin was, was cool and I didn't want just to use plastic. So I used my laser cutter and laser cut a jewel bar. And then I, I put it in and I snapped everything together in mm -hmm. a pressure fit. And while it doesn't have a bearing, or a TPU side or a self-writing logo, <laughs> I think it still looks good. I think Jeez, Joel. That everything snapped together that yeah. well. I know, right? No glue That's on an this accomplishment. Yeah. yeah. So this is what I love when you're talking about, um, you know, like everybody out there is makers and wants to make something. Mm -hmm. We're talking about the 3D printing community and uh, or 3D printing family. And so it's for those that don't know, get on your Twitter, get on your Instagram, get on your Facebook. There are I want to say hopefully thousands at this point, definitely <laughs> hundreds of um, people that have desktop 3D printers of all different kinds that are using all different kinds of materials and that are using all different kinds of software to design stuff. Some of it's just for fun, some of it's functional, some of it is to solve a problem, but the movement with the 3D printing community has been um, to not just 3D print you know, little plastic tchotchkes anymore, but actually start using the technology for what it was intended, which is to solve problems and make things with different kinds of materials and even different kinds of, um, of technology for making. Yeah. So like you've got your laser etch piece along That's with- That's a Joelbot there. That is a Joelbot, <laughs> yep. And who made your Joelbot? Oh, uh, Lady Muse from Makers. Yep, Muse. that's yeah. right. Yeah. Um, so, but, but joining those technologies. So talk a little bit about that, because I feel like that's something that we've been seeing um, on YouTube and in the community lately. Um, by the way, congratulations, you both recently uh, passed 200,000 subscribers yeah. on YouTube. Good job, dude. Which is awesome. Um, but talk a little bit about um, kind of that trend in making, in uh, you know, integrating different kinds of technologies and not just 3D printers. Go ahead. Um, okay. I can say that I was introduced to 3D printing through college, studying product design, so it was all about making prototypes for what would be an end product. They didn't really teach us about using 3D printing to make the end product, so I kind of turned that into one of the missions of mine, to show how you can make end results, like functional working things with 3D printing. So that's how it's gonna get into everyone's hands and get everyone excited. Mm -hmm. 
my, uh, my take was a little different. I've always been a giant nerd and I, I wanted a 3D printer. So my wife and kids got one for me back Christmas of 2014. And I didn't, I didn't initially know how to design stuff. My initial, uh, my initial four-handed design was using something called OpenSCAD. Mm -hmm. And I wanted to design a mount and a rig for my GoPro. Uh, and the 3D printer was going to be the one that was going to bring that to life. And I thought that was cool. But it was it was people like Angus over at Maker's Muse, uh, you and your design skills and stuff that, is, that have really stepped it up and inspired me to learn more about design and not just rely on an old JavaScript-esque language to describe what I want to use, well, Fusion 360 in my case. Mm -hmm. And I think as far as 3D printing goes, I think that's what we're starting to see more of and why we're seeing more functional things and more really cool designs is because you have a lot of people who are influential in the community, such as Devin, myself and Angus and Tom and Joe, that push for design and showcase learning about design and people see that and think, well, if they can do it, if they're learning about it, maybe I can do it as well. Mm -hmm. So we're, we're, we're seeing more young people doing this, more old people doing this. We're seeing more people who bought printers who didn't know how to use them now using them for specific functional things. And I think it's great. Yeah. It's awesome that all the resources are out there now that you can design things without spending money. 3D printers are constantly getting more affordable. So I think it's just something that's going to keep Growing. Yeah, and the technology has has grown and come down in price as well. So now you've got the desktop 3D printers, but you've also got desktop CNC machines, for example, where you can actually cut things. Um, we see it in schools a lot, cutting aluminum parts for their robotics class um, or cutting custom PCB boards and making mm -hmm. circuit boards. So when you use those kinds of technology, and it's almost kind of the old school, like CNC <laughs> is sort of old school right now, um, and then you combine that with with um, 3D printing, you're still using that same digital design like mindset, but also the same digital design software. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think I think what's really cool is people learning how to do design now. It's digital and they don't necessarily need to realize what they've created using a 3D printer. They have CNC and laser cutters and ways to, to do things that aren't just plastic. And mm -hmm. so we're seeing a lot of really cool creations now with multiple materials or materials that may not have been something that someone would have used to create because now it's easier to do it. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and I think because all those tools are there now, more people are taking the initiative to learn how to design. So it's kind of just a whole revolution of decentralizing manufacture. People can make their own things the way they want them to be. Yeah. It's fun. Well, plus having, having the ability to have these kind of machines in schools and especially early schools, mm -hmm. I think really prepare people for this new real world. And we're, we're going to see a lot, uh, a lot of really good new makers coming up in the next five to 10 years. I agree with you. And you know, some of them are in the community, things like uh, people like Technic Alley, for example, oh, and um, you know, other, yeah, other young people that are like actual inventors, even the, and, and they are also young. <laughs> There's not like a, a division there. But, um, but the, the thing that I love about um, this technology, whether it's the desktop 3D printers or the desktop CNC machines coming down in price and having the software be more accessible to more people is like you said, young people can start to use it. But when, um, so from the Matter Hackers, Matter Hackers perspective, um, you know, we see how 3D printers are being used in schools. We also see how 3D printers are being used in major corporations and organizations and not just, you know, your regular you know, automotive and um, uh, aerospace and mm -hmm. people doing product design, but also in medicine, in architecture, in like prop and costume design, in visual effects, like pretty much any job that's out there right now is using some sort of at least 3D design. So when we talk to teachers and they're having trouble maybe like getting funding for their 3D printing program, we can actually tell them like that exact same, you know, Ultimaker or whatever it is machine that you're going to have in your classroom and that same digital design software that you're using in your classroom is the same thing they're going to be using in college. And that's the same machine that's going to be on their desk when they get to whatever, you know, fill in blank of major corporation yes. that they're going to want to get jobs in for the next 10 years. I think what's really cool is we're at this point in history where we have the ability to train kids at a very young age on machines that they will use in the industries they can go into. I mean, we always had they always had the ability to, to use standard tools, hammers and nails and, and power tools and whatnot. Yeah. But 
But now this this new digital age, these kids that are as young as you know kindergarten, first grade, second grade, they're going to grow up not knowing what it was like to not have a 3D printer yeah. at the home, or they're they're going to think it's strange that wow, a school that doesn't have this CNC, this lab, this laser cutter, this computer lab, this digital fabrication lab, I can't imagine what that was like. Mm -hmm. And we're at that point, and that's just amazing. Yeah. I think we're all excited for that. We're so that excited. Idea. It's the new toaster in the kitchen. Yeah. <laughs> it's great. I'll tell you a quick story because you guys, I mean, you, your channels started, um, you know, kind of when, you know, I came on board with Matter Hackers maybe three years ago, maybe a little bit more. And like the landscape was very different then. Um, so, <laughs> so we fun. just went to a trade show in um, DC and we had, we happened to have a, um, a carbide uh, nomad, which is hmm, an yeah. enclosed little CNC machine. And, um, you know, it doesn't look that much different than a 3D printer. So, you know, we're in the booth and we have the thing and kids are walking by and they're like, oh, is that a 3D printer? And we're like, no, it's a CNC machine. Oh, what's a CNC machine? And we would, you know, explain to them, oh, you know, you start with a block of something and you chip away at it, as opposed to, I mean, you know what a 3D printer is, right? And they're like, yeah, of course. I'm like, you know, you start with a blank thing and you put the, yeah, of course. Like, that was not the conversation we were yeah. having with people a year ago, two years ago. So you've got these kids going, Daddy, Daddy, look at that 3D printer. And Daddy's going, I know what that is. I used, I used a CNC machine when I was in high school. Like, that is not a 3D printer. But like, that's the, the, a 3D printer is now a frame of reference to learn about another technology. That's a breakthrough of some sort. No, it's, it's, it's a sign of a wonderful time to come. Yeah. Well, you guys are doing awesome work. Um, I mean, really, we, we hear from people that, that initially learn about 3D printing and making from your channels and, um, and I get super excited about it. And, uh, and it's just a great community. So anything else you guys want to talk about for your channels? What do you got coming up, Devin? Well, I've been pulling my hair out trying to teach my 3D printers some new tricks. You might see my printers singing and dancing and things. <laughs> I'm just picturing a three ring circus with Devin and a big top hat. I was not a bad idea. <laughs> I, I was going to say, I have, I'm, I'm getting the, the parts for actually making my giant open RCF1 car radio mm -hmm. control. But I, I mean, it sounds cool to say that, but how do I follow a guy that's making his printers sing and dance? Well, maybe you can sing like the, the starting takeoff music for your RC car. Yeah. Sure. I'll tell you, if you can make your printers <laughs> sing a theme song for me, I'll use it. Yeah. Okay. His, his printers can totally open for your uh, for your car. That would be fantastic. <laughs> and Matter Hackers will be here supporting in any way we can. Um, guys, thank you so much for coming. It's always a pleasure. Thanks for coming to the meetup. Yeah. Um, and thanks for really for all the inspirational, uh, inspiring work that you do on your channel. Thanks for the tacos. You're welcome. For yes. Yeah, now, now we'll give you tacos. Now we'll, tacos. Now we'll release you. Um, I'm Mara. Uh, for more information about 3D printers and CNC machines and for uh, links to uh, some great YouTube uh, content, there'll be links below and check out matterhackers.com. Thanks so much. Thank you for watching. If you liked that, subscribe to our channel to keep up to date with all of our videos. And remember, go to matterhackers.com to shop for everything 3D printing.